If you've been using Excel for a while, you might notice that the mouse changed shape quite a lot. And then sometimes you might think, well, Excel's not doing what I want it to. And why is that? So we're going to look at the mouse shapes in Excel and what they do. Now don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel, really appreciate that if you can do that. And if you think, I know this already, can you show it to a friend who might, or a family member who might benefit from it? Because this bit of information is really crucial to using Excel. What I'd like you to do is, as I move around the screen, I want you to count the number of different shapes that the mouse changes to. So um, at the moment, you can see my mouse there and as I move into different locations it's going to change very very subtly so you've got to keep an eye on it so let's go and then count how many you are um, the one it looks like at the moment that white cross um, we're actually going to be um, including that one so that's our starting point that's number one okay so let's go So how many did you get? Um, there are actually eight different shapes and that is just me moving around in that top part of the screen. Yes. So you can just see how a couple of millimeters of moving the mouse will change the shape and that is really important because when you change the shape you are giving Excel a different command. So if you've got the wrong shape Excel won't do what you're expecting it to and sometimes this is why when you do something you think why does that text or that data end up over there or why is it not doing what I did yesterday and it works but today it's not working it might be that your mouse isn't the right shape let's just go through them okay so so this white cross the large white cross this is uh, your selecting cross so if, if you there you can quite easily select text if you haven't got your mouse in that shape you won't select the text so that's the first one the second one is, is when I came into the corner of the cell and if you noticed the mouse shape changes to a thin black cross now this is used to copy formula so if I was to drag that formula down there's a formula in D2 so it knows to take that formula down to the other cells. We do talk more about that on, our course, on my courses, how you can actually do the formula themselves, but we're just looking at the mouse shapes today. Okay, so the other type of shape is if I go back to that cell and there we go, look very, very carefully and you'll see the mouse has changed to a spike. Now this spike is actually really handy because when I get the spike across it means I can move things. So if I want to move this figure to another cell I get my mouse to like a spike and I just click and it changes to a pointer and that's because it's easier to locate where it's going, let go and it will just move that information. So to move it back get the spike, just drag it back and, and you can actually move large chunks of information like that. So if I highlight my fat cross, fat white cross, get my spike and then I can drag down with the spike. Okay, It's still highlighted so if I get the spike and then I just drag to where I want that data to go. So that's the spiky cross and that will move the data. Um, then I came up to the column heading and I went to the top of the column and um, my mouse changed to a very solid black downward arrow. Click on there. That will do the whole, whole column Remember, that's going right down the bottom of the spreadsheet, right down to row 1,048,000. Quite a long way there. And again, when we do tables and things, we show you different ways of doing that. Um, but the other one I did up there was between the two columns. And you might use this shape a lot for resizing the columns. So if you look at my mouse now, it is a double arrow with a solid black line in between. So I can now click and drag the column and a lot of people don't realize the subtlety in those shapes so if you haven't got that double arrow it won't resize the column okay let's go over to the rows so the other one was to highlight a whole row so if I just click um, hover over the row number and again my mouse has changed to a solid black arrow pointing to the right and click once 
and that will highlight the whole row. Now I'm just going to click away from that and let's try the other one. So that, that one was where we came to between the row numbers. If I go between row 2 and 3, again it changes to a double arrow with a line in between it and I can use that to make the, the columns wider or smaller. Now if I had several columns highlighted, so I'd need to use my fat white cross and I can go to the bottom one and then I can drag actually let's do that again, let's do them line by line. So let's do all the rows and then I can grab the um, line in between and just make them all larger or make them all smaller. Yes. You can do that with columns as well. So if I highlight the column headings, remember, thick black cross, so drag across. And let's say I had four columns I want to make wider. I go between D and E and then I get that shape. And because I've got the right shape to large the columns, it will drag them. Okay. So, um, and the final mouse shape um, was at the top here on the ribbon. So if you look, it's changed to a pointer and that just makes it easier for me to be able to click on the buttons because remember, it's the tip of the pointer that actually chooses what you want. So I hope you found this video useful. Um, often I come across people who've done a bit of formula, really good on the formula side, but haven't ever been told what the shapes the mouse shapes in Excel do and as you'll see from this short video they do loads and loads of things so next time you use an Excel look at the mouse shape that is how you're communicating with Excel and if you get the communication right it will make other stuff work so much better like and subscribe to our channel and I'll try and post these videos and you know some of the commonly um, common pitfalls of Excel will come up and hopefully they'll help you to avoid those pitfalls. Thanks very much for watching.